If this is your first time watching Generation, this is an English program on Mongolian youth dedicated to sharing the new generation's achievements, values, and interests through a look at their day to day life. Watch as we follow one special young person from morning to night to learn about their world. Studies show that while older generations are very specific about their interests and consumption, younger generations tend to be more interested and accepting of newer trends. Young people are moving toward adulthood with a more liberal attitude and openness to emerging social trends. But our guest for this episode of Generation is not like many of his peers. He has a deep set morals based on more traditional values, which allows him to navigate the world independent of the social norms of other young people. Meet Ichmanthe, a 20 year old student who lives and breathes the values of an older era. Hey guys! My name is Ink Mandle. You can call me Mandle shortly. I'm 20 years old and I'm a student, uni university student. I study in National University of Mongolia. My major is International Relations. Um, this year I'm finishing my uh, junior year and today is going to be really, really busy day. In our previous episode, we met Susanna, who also attends the National University of Mongolia. Did you know the university is one of the largest in Mongolia, culminating one-third of Mongolia's college graduates? NUM cooperates with more than 242 academic and research centers all over the world. Currently, there are 353 international students attending the school. Today, I'm taking a test. Uh, which is which subject is about Mongolian economic relations, and I'm not so well prepared, but I'm not a, so afraid of it. He's not well prepared, but he's not afraid. Warning: the following stunts were performed by professionals. Do not try this at home. Oh, that was difficult. But I think I did pretty good. Um, now we're going to the library to check out some new books. One of my hobbies are reading historical books and book of economics and politics. Uh, when I was in a major of history, um, I sit in the library and read the book all day long. This semester, I'm really into um, the literature books, uh, especially Russian classic li li literature. Uh, last time I read the book is about a value of uh, family and jealousy. Uh, the name is The Sonata of Cruiser. written by Leon Nikolaevich Tolstoy. The things I love about this book is it shows the value of family and jealousy of um, Pazniciu's wife and the piano teacher. Oh, in fact, I have it right now. That little tiny book, which is by Leon Nikolaevich Tolstoy, as I said before. The one reason I really loved about literature is it shows that real possible life situations like anyone can um, read and learn from them. The other hobbies include uh, music, especially jazz music and tonight we're going to Fat Cat Jazz Club. But not so fast. Before we head to the Fat Cat Jazz Club, let's follow him to the library. You've mentioned that one of your favorite subjects is history. What do you like about it? When I was a teenager, 
I started to read Mongolian history such as Chinggis Khan and uh, his descendants and the Mongolian Empire. The reason I really loved about history is the historical proofs uh, can help me to how we go um, in the future. For example, uh, Mongolians were uh, very successful when they unite to uh, fight other countries and they fail when um, they separate from each other and they when they want to separate from each other and this can teach us how to unite and being the winner um, in any events. Did you know the Mongolian Empire existed during the 13th and 14th centuries and was the largest contiguous land empire in history? The Mongol Empire emerged from the unification of several nomadic tribes in the Mongolian homeland working under the leadership of Chinggis Khan. The empire began to split due to wars carried out in succession as the grandchildren of Chinggis Khan disputed how the royal line should be followed. Although learning English is a requirement in the Mongolian educational system, not many can speak English fluently. How did you learn English? From 8th grade to the 12th grade, I studied in uh, the New Beginning International Laboratory School, uh, which means student will study uh, the Mongolian uh, school program and Cambridge school program at the same time. You love history, but you chose international relations for your major. How did you choose your major? I, I really liked the history, uh, but my parents told me uh, that international relations has more career opportunity. And, uh, you know, the uh, problems and issues in the international relations uh, between two countries are always connected to the history and um, in international relations people always uh, read the history to solve the modern problem. Uh, that's why I chose international relations uh, without doubt. What are you hoping to achieve by studying international relations? The reason I, uh, why I want to be a good diplomat uh, is I want to get the power uh, which means I want to uh, be an influential person to uh, persuade other people to have the real and good mor morality. You know? What if I steal someone's phone to feed my family? And what if I steal a car to go to school on time? Anti-morality happens every day. Uh, we, we can see from the articles and reports from the websites and the TV. How are you preparing to achieve your dreams? Um, first, I have to graduate my university. Um, next year, I graduate. And then I have, uh, I have to uh, prepare for the test, to, uh, which, is, which is the GRE test and TOEFL test, maybe IELTS. Uh, to study abroad, uh, especially in the U.S. The reason why I uh, I'm hoping to U.S. is um, the United States is the best in the world on the international relations major. What is success to you? Have you achieved it? In this world, the success is to have a family and love from the smallest part, part of their hearts because the family gives people the most joy of their lives right? the job and the career um, and the money can't it can't give a joy to human I live with my parents and, and my sister uh, this is my joy. This is my love. Um, in the future, I, I 
will have a wife and children, that will be my new success, new family. To achieve that success, I have to uh, be well prepared and well organized than right now. I'm preparing myself uh, by studying in university, it's obviously, and um, I'm reading some other books, playing instruments and playing, uh, doing some sports. I think it will help me to achieve that success. Success can mean anything from wealth and fame to simply achieving one's goals. But for Ich Mantla, it is a simple yet fundamental unit of family. Success means having loving and supporting family members to teach you and to serve one another and share in one's joys and sorrows. Although he does not have a wife and kids yet, he is prepared to become a good husband and father by focusing on his personal development. Reading literature, studying history and international relations, developing his musical talents, all contribute to achieving success in having a family directly and indirectly. Way to go, Ingmantla! So, where are we going now? After a long, busy day, I like to uh, listen to jazz music. That place is Fat Cat Jazz Club. The Fat Cat Jazz Club opened uh, one year ago. This is a pure jazz place, and there is no place that compares to this place. Louis Armstrong, they all know this. They all know him. Okay, this is Fat Cat Jazz Club. What's this wall about? Why are there names carved on the wall? The people on this wall is played on this stage, and so um, we can see that uh, Ariu and Angie, Jojo, uh, uh, those are the Angie sisters. And then uh, Sam Hilton is from uh, America, who is uh, the jazz pianist, and uh, the Max Heimler, who is um, the German jazz guitarist. Um, I really like his playing, you know. And um, here is Hongor, who is the co-founder of this uh, jazz club. And here is the Martin Zenker, who has worked really hard to develop jazz in Mongolia. Why do you like this place so much, besides the live jazz music? Um, as you can see, uh, this atmosphere uh, is a kind of vintage and old fashioned, maybe. Uh, I really love that art old fashion, uh, which is, uh, for example, the movies, the Neuer movies, you know, with the black, one, uh, black and white mu movies, and the jazz music, uh, 50s and 60s jazz music. 
uh, it feels like the artists uh, make make their pieces from the bottom of their, uh, their heart. When I said I would never leave you. And you never will. The feeling that, that watching the old movies and listening to vintage music, I feel like I live in that era or that generation. Since you like old movies, what is one of your favorite black and white movies? One of my favorite movies is uh, A Breakfast at Tiffany's. It's from 1961, and you know, the actress Audrey Hepburn, she acted that in that movie. The female character's biography is very unknown. Some people say that she was a prostitute, or uh, some people say that she was um, just a worker, a normal worker. The male character don't know how she lived before, um, and he don't know uh, her secrets, but he loved her unconditionally. The reason why I like old movies is um, I like the color, you know, black and white, and the camera angle, and the actor's dialogue, and uh, face mimics. Do you watch modern movies at all? The modern movies I like to watch um, are uh, just historical or um, the old atmospheric movies. Tell us about your musical interests. What kind of genres do you listen to? Uh, besides jazz, I like to listen to 70s, 80s um, funk music, especially uh, Japanese city pop. The reason why I like funk music is uh, the bass line of that song is really, um, you know, really harmonic. I play bass guitar, so um, I really like the bass, bass lines. Ikhmanza played bass guitar for many years and is still playing at his local church. Uh, some people say that uh, jazz music is so uncomfortable uh, when listening. Uh, some people say that uh, jazz music is non-harmonic uh, or something like that uh, but I would say no because the jazz music is the most harmonic music what would you like to say to the younger generation always go against the current don't think about the society says don't think about the other people say to you you have your own way, you have your own current. When some, fr uh, some of your friends uh, say that smoking feels relaxed, uh, the alcohol is good maybe, and uh, the playing computer is good, you can't blindly follow their words. You have to have your own filter to distinguish what's right and wrong to choose the right thing. People tend to conform to behaviors that are common among other people. But Ikhmanza's interest in literature, history, jazz music, and black and white movies are not what most younger people prefer. He believes he's an old soul who would travel back in time if it were possible. Ikhmanza doesn't conform to social norms, but is instead deeply rooted in his family's values, allowing him to confidently choose his authentic preferences, free from the influence of his peers. They say that the greatest thinkers, innovators, and explorers of human history are non-conformists as they challenge the norm and explore the truth for themselves. It is without a doubt that Ikhmanza could be one of the greatest innovators thinkers or explorers of human history. 
Do you think for yourself without following the crowd? Hello. Uh. Hey guys, get Whoa, the test was difficult, um, but I think I did pretty good. Um, now uh, we'll be uh, we waiting for that. Whoa. The test was so difficult. Whoa, that was difficult. <laughs>